Imagine if DDR was on steroids and became more complex with each installment. Now imagine a dog being brought to a GameStop with their owner who browses the store. The dog then takes a huge dump on the copy that the man just dropped after purchasing. What do you get? Project Diva X. You know that the game is Project Diva, so you just assume it's good, right? Wrong. It's not good at all. The game plays just like every other Project Diva, just with a few tweaks and an added rush notes where you mash the buttons until it explodes. The game doesn't really have any syncing issues and it plays well, it's just everything else that kills it. You have a huge amount of forgettable songs. I only remember about 5 of those 30 quote unquote songs that they claim to have, but the melodies aren't being counted in this situation. You know that one mode where you bond with Miku and her friends? It's gone and placed in the main menu, and now you can sit there for hours touching on the touchpad and giving her gifts. But who in America cares about that, yo? Let's move on to the rest of this stuff. You have cutscenes after doing songs. I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, didn't somebody else say that there's a story mode? If somebody told you that, they're 100% correct. You have clouds of songs. You gotta do every song on either normal or easy in order to play on extreme and unlock the final medley, all right? That sucks, period. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. They should not lock it behind those modes, you know what I mean? It's not like a Chaos Thermals in Sonic Heroes, like when you gotta get the true ending or whatever. There's a voltage gauge added when you do story mode, which is the only way of unlocking modules. That's right, there is no shop. That means even if you perfect a song in that mode, it doesn't count in free play. The game gets extremely cheap most of the time with timing and note placement. In some songs it's normal and flowing, on others you have a single note flying across the screen like an uh, eagle racing a fighter jet that's trying to, like, I don't know, bomb Iraq. Other times, the speed of the song changes completely and leaves you with frustration beyond infinity, yo. The bad song choices, I swear, the bad song choices make it either cheap or easy. Or it just takes low blows at you, just to keep you from perfecting it. It's false difficulty at its finest. You're probably asking, Hisuki, where's Kaito and the others? Guess what? They barely have any songs. It's all Miku oriented. When you ain't getting everybody else thrown at you for like a few seconds, there is no one else. It's just Miku and no song, you know what I mean? Everybody mostly shows up in the medleys, and you're lucky if you even get a single song with these characters like Len and Rin. These fools got the best songs in the game, in my opinion. Like, dang, Miku ain't got nothing compared to them. You know what I mean? Kaito, his song is good. That joint is just so cheap, yo. It's cheap. Like, look at this footage. Hidden stuff, you know, this is the pitch change that I was talking about. They got that joint, you know, that was the pitch change out of nowhere. It gets faster. First the song is slow, then it got faster, you know what I mean? It just sucks. It sucks how they did it. This is a bootleg Project Diva and I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. It's not a good first impression. It's a poor man's Project Diva, alright? The ones that I tell you to get, if you can afford them or even find them, are Project Diva F, Project Diva F 2nd, and Future Tone. Those are way better, and they'll show you how good the series is. Project Diva X gets a 4 out of 10. See, like this Diva Room stuff, it's put in the main menu. So pretty much, instead of going in the Diva Room and then, you know, they talk to you and stuff, it's in the menu. No lie. See, this is the joint with the tempo switch. The tempo switch. This is the joint, that's the Kaito song, when the star flies all the way across the screen, that was the joint. This, this, this song is just boring, bruh. It's a medley, so it's not counting as a song. Medley, this medley, medley, meh, uh, this medley, I like this one. I like this one, alright. This joint is cheap, super cheap. This joint is boring. Boring. I like this one, yo. It's one of my favorites. This is boring. Super slow. Super boring. I, I like this one. I perfected that joint on one try. This joint, I like it. Boring. I didn't even come back to it on extreme. I perfected that joint. I don't know why. I like this. Meh. I like this. Eh. Boring. Boring. Cheapness. Cheap, cheap, cheap. 
Cheap, cheap, cheap's the name of your soul. <laughs> Man, this joint. Tempo, tempo switch. I love this song. Love this song. Best song in the game. That joint, ugh. Boring, trash, garbage disposal. It belongs in a garbage dump. All right, garbage dump. Ugh. Nah. Mm -mm. Nope. I don't even know why I tried that one. That joint, I I didn't even try it. That was super boring. I couldn't even do it. And uh, it wasn't good. That joint suck. That's all them joints. <laughs> like, come on. This is my joints. I have barely even like I barely even scratched the surface of these songs. Like I didn't I didn't even try to get like a perfect or nothing. You know what I mean? Like this this section is so unscripted. Like you could tell. <laughs> I mean, I ain't cutting nothing. This is legit the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all ain't got nothing on me. Watch, watch the playlist. Do it. Go on the Project Diva playlist. You will know these perfects are legit. Don't even try and say nothing. Don't try to say nothing, bruh. Don't try to write in my comment section. <laughs> I'm just, you know, this is my opinion. You know what I mean? It's all right. It's just my review. There are tons of other ones. Check those out if you don't like mine. All right.